Number 13 Demon Street. I am condemned to live here, to suffer on this earth eternally, as a punishment for my sin. It is said that no greater outrage was ever committed by any mortal. But should I find a crime more heinous, my terrible punishment will end. Come with me to a lonely coastal road fringing a village in Bavaria. My hand is caught. Help me. It's no use. What are we going to do? My satchel. My yeah. satchel, quick! does not need both of his hands.
Heinz, this is Police Inspector Berg. How do you do? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, please, sit down. Thank you. I must uh, congratulate you, Dr. Schloss. Congratulate me? Mm -hmm. It's more than a miracle that you both survived and uninjured, except your broken wrist. I think I'll exhibit the wrecks at the police museum as a warning. I have here the name of the man who ran into your car. Of course, you won't have much luck with the insurance companies. Oh, well, I didn't think of that. Um, who was the man? Erich Münster. Münster? Yes. You must have heard of him? The psychopathic killer? He has five lives on his conscience. Of course, I use the word conscience advisedly. Psychopathic killer? Yes. He saved the government money by killing himself in that accident. Well, the case is closed. Goodbye. Uh, oh, sorry again. Sorry. Or uh, do you have anything else to report? Anything else? I wish I had better news for you. But uh, a convict in a stolen car? You, um, you might try to sue the insurance company. Thank you, Inspector. Oh, pleasure. difference whose hand it is. But it has killed. But it's the mind that's responsible, not the body. seem to have even more feeling in this hand than in the other. He must have had an extremely fine sense of touch. You see it? They look all right. But they are different. People will notice. They're your hands. The hands of, of a prominent surgeon. Well, I shall just have to wear gloves. Nurse, hypodermic. Scissors. seems like ages since, since we've been out together. And yet it's only since. Yes. Uh... Shall we dance? Eddie, 
Will you marry me next week? It's too long to wait. You know, I've, I've never been so happy. To think I, I might have been a cripple all my life. Hold me tight. You know, I guess I was becoming extremely complacent about my success. I won't anymore. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> We're in a public place. What do you mean? Oh, stop it. What is the matter? Why did you want to hurt me? Hurt you? Forceps. Where is it? Please, leave me. Please, get out. But why? Please, get out. What's frightening you? Go! Operator, get me the police. Come on in, Dr. Schloss. Please, sit down. Thank you. This accident is still on your mind, Dr. Schloss? Yes, I'm afraid it is. Hmm. Erich Münster's past has a fascination for you? Yes. Why? Well, I don't know. I've tried to analyze my motives. Yes. But I cannot explain them. But tell me, what was he besides being a murderer? If that man had been to a psychiatrist, he might have become as famous as you. Yes, he must have had a very fine sense of touch. What makes you say that? Uh, wasn't he a safe cracker? No. Oh, I thought I read it in the newspapers. Minster hated women. All his victims were women. Who knows what kind of experiences he had as a child? You said that his victims were only women? Yes. He seems to have killed the women he loved or hated. Both emotions, so opposed, have a common root. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I collected his data here. Erich Münster was born of middle-class parents. His father was a butcher, his mother always sick, and... Yes, yes. I don't want to know any more about him. Uh, thank you very much for your trouble. No trouble at all.
Is anything wrong, Doctor? No, nothing. Nothing at all. Steady, Doctor. This isn't your first operation. Yes, uh, I must get hold of myself. She's dead. It wasn't your fault. It's just that there were too many complications. If only I... It is hard to lose a patient for the first time. It couldn't be helped. Yes, perhaps you are right. Thank you. Nurse, will you bring in the next patient for Dr. Sloss, please? to a gentleman and a scholar. I know a place that's much more fun than this. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go dancing. you're all right. I was so worried. Eddie, please help me. You must help me. What's happened? What is it? This hand. I have no control over it. You're still in a state of shock. Believe me. What you need is a long rest. Maybe it's just the psychological after effect of the operation. We must try to find out if the mind becomes affected after the transplantation of living tissues. This is a murderer's hand. 
Inspector Berg told me that Erich Spinster was a, a psychopathic killer. He murdered women. Five women died under my knife. Five women. Don't you see? It's a coincidence. We can't control life. Many people die on the operating table. I, I know, but this is different. Tonight, I, I almost killed a girl in the bar. It wasn't me. It was... It. You know I love you. And you love me. Don't be frightened by a nightmare. Put your arms around me. Please. And your fears will go away. Yes. Not her. Not her. That hand was not alive. No. It was dead. Dead as this fire poker. 